This archived clip from Make Live is brought to you by DigiKey. Join us live every second and fourth Wednesday of the month. We have another guest, don't we? We do. We have a guest who's going to show us a really rad DIY neuroscience project from Backyard Brains. First, let's learn a little bit about Backyard Brains. Hello, we're Backyard Brains. Do you want to accelerate neuroscience innovation? Do you want to study neurons on a train? Do you want to study neurons on a plane? Do you want to show neuroscience to your grandma? Do you want to hang out with lovely outdoor sportswear models? Do you think bugs are really, really cool? Do you not have the means to get into an institution like this, but instead only have your basement workshop? Do you want to improve the state of neuroscience education? Well, Tim and Greg can help you. We present the Open Source Spiker Box, where you can inexpensively record from the nervous system of insects. But how do you use it? Let's show you. To begin, take some ice from your mother-in-law's refrigerator. Then, go downstairs to your basement workshop and grab your cockroaches from their favorite hiding place. Make sure they're alive and healthy. Take one of the good ones and dunk it in the ice water anesthesia. After a few moments, it'll stop moving and will be ready for the surgery. Carefully cut off one of its legs. Don't worry, they can grow back. Hey everybody, I'm here with Greg Gage from Backyard Brains. Hey Greg. Hey Becky, how are you doing? I'm a little sweaty from the helmet. <laughs> But pretty good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm enjoying the Maker Faire already. Yeah. What do you bring to show us? So today we're going to do some neuroscience. You probably think you need to get a PhD and go to some fancy university, but no. Becky, here, you know, in the middle of a parking lot in suburban Detroit, in Dearborn, we're going to be able to do actual neuroscience that's being done at fancy universities all around the world. I gotta say, I'm a little nervous about what we're gonna do today. What What's the experiment? So today, what you're gonna do is we're gonna be working with our, our model organism, which is the cockroach. And cockroaches have neurons just like we do. You know, everybody, uh, all of our senses come in through neurons, through our eyes, through our taste, and through our touch. All these are being processed by the brain that comes back in the form of a communication to the muscles. All this is done through spikes. So we want to be able to look at these spikes and understand exactly how the brain actually works using this, this simple currency, the euro of the brain, so to speak. So yet your job is you're going to be you're going to be you're going to have a number of hats today. All right. The first thing I need you to do I need you to be the uh, the anesthesiologist. I want you to knock out one of our cockroaches. Okay. Now you know I'm a New Yorker, right? So I have a thing about yeah, cockroaches. Yeah, yeah. Right, so these like I know you're from New York. You probably like cockroaches because you see them all the time. But unfortunately, these are not your the cockroaches from your from your neck of the woods. These come from South America. And South American cockroaches, they, they, they live in a lot hotter temperatures. They actually move a lot faster. But uh, they're actually better in, 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 you know, in more temperate climates like here, and actually even New York, because they would move a lot slower. So they're actually they're not so gross and creepy. All right, but let's go. I'm going to have you go ahead and grab uh, one of these cockroaches from here. And they should be nice and warm and nice and moving pretty quickly. So, And grab one that's moving pretty quickly. That, there's a good one right there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. So you might be wondering why why are we putting it in the ice water? You know, that's a good question. Like what what like what are we doing? I'm wondering how I just touched a cockroach. That's what I'm wondering. Ah! Whoops. He's a little bit feisty. He's a feisty little one, but he'll soon learn some respect. So we're, that, that, was, that was impressive. Yes. So what we're doing is, is we're, we're we're dumping him in ice water. Have you ever had surgery done? I have. Look at my knees. Yeah. So uh, were you awake when you had that surgery? Not for very many of them. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, the idea is that you, when you when you have like things that cause pain, we don't want to be awake for that. We want to be sort of anesthetized or being asleep. So what you've done, you've actually anesthetized our cockroach here by putting in ice water. I'm much less afraid of him now. Yeah. So he'll stop moving, and the reason why he stops moving because unlike us, they can't control their body temperature, so therefore they they basically stop firing their neurons, which means they stop moving and they also stop feeling pain. So what you're going to do next is you're going to be cutting off the leg and doing it, becoming a neuro. Are you a neurosurgeon by chance? I, I'm not, spent, but have, I play one on TV. You do play one. You're going to play one today. So what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to show, I want to show the cockroach to the camera. Can oh, you give okay. me the one that's more asleep? You there don't know you which one is more yeah, asleep. This one's actually the one that's not more asleep. Oh, so. great. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you guys. the. He's much less scary to touch when he's asleep. So these guys come from, like I said, they, they come from South America. They're actually a little bit larger than the ones we have here, but they're beautiful. They have, this is the adult. They have nice, these beautiful wings. He's way bigger than any cockroach I've ever seen in New York, yeah, I, fortunately. I yeah, I didn't think they flew, but I found out just recently that they actually do fly when it gets a little bit warmer. So maybe, I don't think you know, maybe he needs a little more time. Maybe today or tomorrow, you know, we can actually experiment with uh, getting these guys to fly. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to lay it out here, and I'm going to have you take this pair of scissors, and I want you to cut the leg off the cockroach. I'm going to show you where. But we learned that it's going to grow back, right? These legs will grow back. So this, this, this is, we are a very green company. You know, we try to re recycle whenever we can. So let me put this microphone down. I'm going to show you. You're going to cut right kind of close to the body. Right there. Like a little bit lower. 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 Good. Now one false swoop. 
Good job. All Woo! Right. Okay, we got a cockroach leg. Can I you show that a, to the camera? Yeah, you can now? show that to the camera. So what we've done, this is this is a, a leg. But the interesting thing about cockroach is different. If I cut your leg off, your leg would probably die within, you know, a couple of minutes. Be you to eat it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring the chocolate dip, which really mm. goes good with it. So I would the, eat bugs, totally. So these these, want to these touch legs them are really me. cool because they they have these these uh, called spiracles, these little holes that allow you to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide, so they can breathe basically through through a hole in their leg. That's cool. So this leg can stay alive for like three to four days, and that's our record. What do we do with this guy? So we're gonna put him back in the ice so he doesn't wake up uh, pretty soon. So then we're gonna allow him to heal a little bit, and then He's we'll put him be back. A little, a little yeah, we actually this is this is kind of a neat thing to talk about. We we have a place called Shady Acres. Uh, where when the legs get cut off, we put them in a retirement community, and they sort of like do whatever cockroaches do. They you know they mate, they eat, and they do. You know, so therefore, we have a, a constant supply of cockroaches from these experiments. All right. So what I'm going to have you do now, you're going to be the electrophysiologist, and we're going to be recording from this. So like I said, the legs still alive. There's still neurons in those legs, and those legs are going to be like, or, excuse me, the neurons are going to be sending information back. And so, if I were to touch your arm like this, like, even though you don't see my fingers, you feel it because you've got sensors inside of your skin that are sending information to your brain in the form of spikes. Same thing's happening in this cockroach. I'm going to have you place the the electrode inside the leg, like right there. It's perfect. She's putting it in a spot where I don't think there's many neurons. And then that's the reference. And then you're going to take the other one. You're going to stick it inside this the femur right. There, that's perfect. All right. I'm gonna show this. All right, so let's bring it up to the camera. So she has basically uh, a pin that's right inside the leg, right where all the neurons are basically sending their axons up to the brain. These are all just terms for just wires that are like uh, like biological wires that are coming up to the brain. So I need you to be the the Thanks. union contractor and go ahead and turn that on for us. Where's the switch? Oh, right yeah. there. Union. I have yeah. a lot of hats. Yeah, you're yeah. right. <laughs> Union contractor. Ooh. All right. Let me turn it up a little bit. What does that sound like to you? Static. Yeah, it sounds like noise to most people. But to me and to all the electrophysiologists out there, this is the most beautiful sound in the world. And the reason why, because when we work in the, uh, in the laboratory, we actually uh, will take hours and hours and hours to do a surgery. And, and then at the end... 50% of the times we actually hear this noise and that's good. Uh, so when we hear that, you know, you always go home and relax, have a beer because it's, it's like it's a successful day. But this is actually what's nice about this prep is that pretty much anyone can do that from sixth grade on up. Anyone can just place pins inside there and they can record this beautiful thing, which is neurons. So I'm, I'm, com I'm making the argument that these are cells that, and I'm also making the argument that they're, that they're touch cells, which means that they're going to be able to respond to touch. So I want you to take this piece of paper and brush it against the leg and hold the microphone up so we can hear what happens. Yeah. So what you're seeing took about 50 years in neuroscience to, to discover, which is called rate coding. And that is the number of spikes per second, or the rate at which the neuron fires, is telling you information about the pressure of this paper that you're pressing on there. If you press lightly, there's a small amount of spikes. If you press hard, there's a lot more spikes. And so what we're moving. Yeah, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring neuroscience down into the high school so that pe everyone everywhere can sort of learn a little bit about neuroscience. You don't have to go to these fancy colleges and get the fancy degree just to be able to do something that you did right here. That's great. And you're showing this at Maker Faire, right? Yeah, we're in the Maker Faire. We're in the science tent right next to the mousetrap. And so we're, we're here uh, all weekend. So, I mean, I mean we also so have... So this is a kit, right? Yeah, we have a kit that we're actually selling on online. So for less than $45 now, you can actually do your own neuroscience at home, write your own papers, be your own single first author. You don't need like you don't need a funding institution. You can just do it right there in your garage. So I can take those New York cockroaches yeah. and uh, catch you know, them, yeah, put no, them in some you ice. You can, literally, literally. Every, every insect has neurons. So. Oh, okay. wow. Well. That was the most exciting thing I've done, including riding the power <laughs> wheels. But I can't say, I still got to go with the gong here and for my favorite because these cockroaches, they make my blood pressure go yeah, up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's so great. Thanks, Greg. All right. Well, thank you very much for having me.